guys if you have an ABB VFD that uh, seems to do a lot of oscillation when it's running uh, this is a step that may help you uh, we can see this commonly if there is noise in a control signal uh, some older controllers or even some newer ones depending on the uh, programming that's in it of course it's always uh, best if you can eliminate the problem at the controller level however if necessary you can do a little bit of work in the drive and add a filter to help reduce some of the oscillation the first thing that we need to do anytime you are working with an ABB drive you can see this says Johnson controls however it is an ABB uh, any of you all familiar with these know that uh, they just buy the drive and put a Johnson controls or a York sticker on them uh, sometimes they may have a little bit different firmware also, but you know, they're pretty much all very similar The first thing that you need to do is we need to take it out of run or auto mode and Because it will not let you make any changes to any of the parameters if you go in here uh, You can see that in Any changes is just going to kick it right out uh, Just go in there and see it gives you an error. So that's you know why we need to first press the stop mode. You can see here it says auto. When I press that stop mode, it's going to switch it to off. Now then we can go into our menu, parameters, and the particular parameter that we want is going to be AI1. And the reason that I say that for this particular drive is AI1 is our reference. Okay, and the way that we tell that is we go, let me back up a little bit, we go into our reference select and we go in here and we look to the reference and this is our speed reference reference one select is AI1 this is going to be our speed reference so we back out of that and we're going to go down to analog inputs I'm going to press select and we can see here minimum AI is 20 percent that's what it currently is now but what we want is the filter for AI1. This is what we're going to do here and we're going to hit our edit button and what I'm going to do is just add a few seconds to this. I'm going to go up to about five seconds see how that does on uh, filtering out some of the noise, some of the oscillation that's in this and you know if that's not enough we may go a little bit more but this should be more than enough. You don't want to go too far but uh, it is, this is one way of helping. Now that I put that value in, I hit the save button and I also hit exit. And one thing that I always like to do anytime I make parameter changes is I like to back up the parameters. Scroll down to parameter backup. Uh, you guys, you may want to check out my video on how to back up the parameters on these drives. But we scroll down here, hit enter upload to panel and you can see here there are no previous backups so it's real good that we do this if something happens to your drive you need to change it out if you have a copy of those parameters it makes setup of a new drive much faster so once we have all of that uh, completed all we will do then is you can see there it's backup was successful I'm going to press OK I'm going to exit all the way back out and then I'm going to put the drive back in auto mode. I press the auto button and you can see it flags auto there. And we are ready to restart the machine and see how well that does. Now once the unit is back up and running, it has been online for a few minutes, we can see just how much more stable the unit is running. You can see here the set point is staying at 78%. 78.2 you know two tenths is not bad so that is how you can smooth out some of the oscillation within a VFD on your system if you like the video give it a thumbs up also be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching